Welcome back. We have Councilman Anthony Piagentini with us right here live at 4. He represents District 19. That includes Middletown and much of Shelbyville Road up until we hit Shelby County. Thanks so much for coming in today, Metro Councilman. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good to have you here on the 4. Okay, we've got to start with juvenile justice. It's something you've been really outspoken about on social media lately. And we've also known we have this new transition center in Louisville. It's designed to partially fill the gap left behind with the closing of the youth detention center. But is it enough? Do you think we need to see more? We do. Uh, the reason we closed the, the detention center years ago was due to a budget shortfall. Now, technically, the state is responsible for funding juvenile justice across the Commonwealth. So there are juvenile justice centers throughout the rest of the state, but no, there's none that are within about an hour and a half of the city of Louisville. So we had the one here, they were reimbursing the city, but frankly, they were underfunding us. So we had an increasing financial liability, but now the state is willing to fund this some more. It didn't get passed in this last budget, but I think there's a lot of work to be done with Frankfurt, partnering with our state representatives to get a fully funded juvenile detention facility locally. Unfortunately, right now, LMPD has very few options in what to do with juveniles when they're arrested. And I'm talking for very violent crimes. We have seen an explosion in carjackings and teen on teen violence. And I'm talking with guns, very violent gang activity. And without these sort of facilities very close by with the appropriate level of services, we're gonna to continue to see recidivism. Um, so we do need to continue partnering with the state. They have some hearings going on right now and the city in a bipartisan fashion is working with the state to try to get this done this year. Something you guys think is important we really need to see. Okay, switching gears now big time to the much anticipated grocery development coming to your part of town. We're talking about Publix. Okay, everybody who's been to Florida and has been to this absolutely loves it. What's right. the status of the project? Why do you think people are so excited? Well, so we just did a groundbreaking uh, a couple weeks ago. The mayor was there. I was there. Uh, Representative Jerry Miller and several other elected officials were there. Uh, and this is actually going to be the first one they're opening in the entire Commonwealth. This is the first one that they're gonna have a, a, a store or part of their store selling alcohol outside of the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they are really making an aggressive move in Kentucky. Uh, they've already announced another location in Louisville and they at that event announced a location in Lexington. And I think there's gonna be more to come. So we're tremendously excited about this. Uh, I think the reason they picked, of course, District 19, it's, it's one of the fastest growing districts in the state or areas in the state, not just the city. It's the fastest growing district in the city. And people wanna be around this stuff. People wanna be around that growth. Uh, it's tremendously exciting for the community, but it also gives, as much as I love Kroger too, <laughs> gives them a little competition. I think competition's good, so. There you go, well, we're looking forward to it. All right, Councilman, thanks so much for taking time to come on with us Thank today. you, it's a pleasure, appreciate it.